I'm Beth Ann. What's up? I'm Ayla. This is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Welcome back to the podcast where, as per usual, we are so excited. Might as well trademark that phrase at this point (laughs) because we have finally found some people who appreciate crowdfunding as much as we do. Always screaming about crowdfunding something. Sometimes it's a billboard. Sometimes it's an awards nomination. Sometimes it's even a series of a show. And we found a few people who are on our level. So today we have Alfred and David, the stars of Summer Days, the series and the short film on the show today. Hi, I'm David. (laughs) Hi guys, I'm Alfred and I'm playing Kai in Summer Days, the series. Oh, uh, (laughs) there's my cute. (laughs) Hi, my name is David and I'm playing Evan on Summer Days, the series. (laughs) Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, Thanks for having us. We really need to work on our um, thesaurus of <laughs> other words than excited because that's all we got. Just so uh, <laughs> but we're so excited. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get started as per tradition at Let's Talk BL with Lost in Translation. We, right, have, okay. we have scoured the internet for a bio and fun facts and all that we could find that Google could translate, that fans have translated, (laughs) that we maybe made up. I don't know. (laughs) So There's a source for everything, Beth Ann. There is a source. It could be just, you know, fun. No, here's the thing with particularly this week's Lost in Translation. This this week took us a long time. Y'all know we love our research. But this week, I it pretty sure it took us what like so somewhere between three to five days, yeah, of That's just crazy. like straight Googling in like multiple languages. Multiple languages, <laughs> we, we so yes, many. we ended up mastering translations, it was fantastic. So, but we love it. Like, we talk about how much we love learning about new cultures and new languages, and like that's mm. part of being into these series as like people from the states. It's fun to learn mm. about new things. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So again, everything has a source. <laughs> we just there is one fact in particular that we'll get to, and I will say which one it is. Don't worry. That we can't remember where we got the source from because <laughs> Did we didn't write it, it down. <laughs> so like <laughs> potentially we made it up but i don't think we did there is a source <laughs> anyways we're gonna get started with lost in translation we're gonna start with alfred of course we start with the a's uh okay. love an a name here okay mm-hmm. so uh first things first your name is alfred sung true or false yep. true okay and another thing we like to do on let's talk bl during lost in translation is force me and Beth Ann, but usually it's me, to say your Chinese name, and then you get to tell me whether or not I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, uh, Another, like, disclaimer, y'all, I try. (laughs) Please don't roast me. Okay. Do you want to try saying it first? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try it, and you're going to tell me if I got it right. Okay. Sung Ying Hao. True or false? Yes. How are my tones? My tones are always wrong. Okay, where did I get it wrong? Can can you do it again? Slower this time. Okay. Sung Ying Hao. I think it's Um, pretty great, no? Yeah, yeah, it's very close. close. We actually (laughs) pronounce the Sun. I think you have a G in the Sun. Uh So it's Sun, Sun, and I think it's more, it sounds, it's supposed to sound a bit more flat, like Sun. Sun. And the how goes down. How? Oh, the how goes down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How. Yeah. Gotcha. Sun ying how. Yeah. Sun ying how. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty easy. <laughs> it is pretty easy. It is pretty easy. Okay, cool. So we've got name, basic info. Birthday, another very important fact. November mm-hmm. 16, 1991. True or yep. false? True. We are so close to your birthday. This episode oh, really? airs on November 17th, so a day oh, after a your day birthday. After, yeah, yeah. So happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next fact, and this is the one where we don't remember the source we got this from, but it's a very important one, and it's the one that truly brings us and all the listeners the most joy. Height. So... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what we have okay. Maybe and Alfred again 
Like, yeah. disclaimer, I know we have a source for this. We just can't remember what the source is. So if it's totally wrong, I can't tell you who lied about it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hype Maybe, maybe have, I'll be lying about it. Maybe I'll be lying about it. I mean, yeah, maybe you'll <laughs> lie. We'll find out. Okay. Uh, the, the height that we found is 172 centimeters, which if you're in the States is about 5'8". True or false? Five, eight. False. False. Okay, so what's the truth? I'm like 171.7. Did uh, you say 171.7? <laughs> no, no, 170. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. So somebody like lied, but to make you taller. I guess. Yeah. I, I, uh, that's something that I would do actually. So, <laughs> so maybe it was you. Maybe no, it's you the liar. Not it's not me. No, we were talking about this, and we could have sworn we found it in either a Twitter comment or an IG comment. So maybe it was just you commenting and lying. <laughs> yeah, because because it's just like, going undercover people. in random accounts. Yeah. No, no, because I feel like a lot of comments that I see online are actually telling um other people that I'm about 160, 165, <laughs> which is a bit shorter than, than my actual height. So yeah. yeah. Harsh. Well, now we know the truth. It's recorded. No one can ever lie about it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we also have a little bio. So the bio that we found um, that truly was actually translated from Chinese, this came off a Chinese site, so something could have been lost in translation here, <laughs> is that Alfred is a Singaporean singer, actor, and model. He participated in singing programs The Voice China and The King of Shanglin Season 1 and appeared in the drama History 3 Make Our Days Count. I'm so triggered, but is this true or false? It's true. Uh, yeah, but, but the, the role on uh, History was actually really small because back then my, um, I can't, my command of Mandarin was really bad. So it was an almost non-speaking role, but it was really fun because the project was um, shot over six months. So it was really eye-opening for me. And, and that, that was the earlier time when I started you know, acting. So that was definitely a great experience for me. Oh, yeah, that's so interesting. Mm. It's funny because, uh, yeah, we talked about, we were like, we have to go back and watch it and find him. And I fully said, like, I will not rewatch Make Our Days Count because I'm triggered. <laughs> Um, I will never, I no that, one can yeah. ever, but Beth Ann went back and watched and we did find you and we do have screenshots. We uh, will no. flash them on the screen if we want. No. Uh, every so we did find time, you. Every single time when I show, um, when I tell people that watch Alfred on history and no. he was like, he, he would be like, no, no. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. I mean, look, it's a good show just because mm. like. Listen, today is not the day of talking <laughs> The last little bit of your bio is, in June 2020, he participated in the Chinese Idol survival show, We Are Young. True or false? 2020? Yes, true. True. Cool. So, we found a few fun facts, um, and we're going to go through them. First fun fact. Once told his mom that he would quit acting by the age of 30 if he didn't get any results. True or false? True. True. Yes. Why? It wasn't just acting in particular. I think it was just um, the whole pursuing um, a career in this industry. Because I actually started pretty young. I started singing and dancing when I was 18. So um, I feel like this journey has been pretty long. Right. And <laughs> there are a lot of like ups and downs. So as parents, you know, I think... Um, Typically, like Asian parents, they are a bit more concerned about um, age and things like pro progression in your career and stuff. So it was getting to this point where my parents were really um, just concerned and worried for, for me. So I, I came to this point where I, I had to, you know, just promise my mom just to give her that assurance that um, I will set a time limit for myself uh, to pursue a, a career in this industry. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, and, and and interestingly, I turned thirty this um, this, year. this year. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I hope I hope she's um actually she's been a lot more supportive in the recent years, so that's great. Um, I guess it's just got to do with me like trying to constantly work to show her some results. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you made it. You're on Let's Talk BL, so yeah. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> she'll probably watch it. She'll probably watch it. Amazing. Uh, okay, so next fun fact: in 2018, was listed as one of eight male style influencers of Singapore to watch out for. Do you know this fun fact? About you yourself? even know if this is true or false? <laughs> was I? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like I vaguely remember. Um, some influencer article. I'm not too sure the year and I'm not too sure what was it about. But it was probably just one of those small articles that um some content creator put together, I feel. So I'm not too sure if this it is, is true. true. <laughs> it is it true. Is? I like I'll okay. I'll show you the link. Um <laughs> it'll be great. I will up, say yeah. in twenty twenty you leveled up because you were named one of eight influencers no longer just style influencer you were like an oh, overall really? influencer so like you leveled up after a couple years that's great <laughs> okay last but not least he auditioned for jyp slash alpha in 2010 and was offered a full contract from the same rounds of auditions that jackson wang of got seven participated in true or false true um i think that was in 20, 2010 right was it 20 yeah yeah, yeah, true. That's true. That was actually so long ago. So actually, um, fun fact. So that was actually the first audition that I've ever stepped into. Um, and at that point, I just started singing and dancing and I was 19. So everything was very new and I was just um, very keen to explore, you know, this whole industry. So when I saw the opportunity to audition for a Korean entertainment company and when it came to Singapore, I went for it. And then um, one thing led to another. After rounds of auditions, I was offered a contract to be training in Korea. And I actually even went to Korea to train for a short period of time. But at that point, I was still a student in, in, in Singapore. So I had to come back to complete my studies and also had to finish, um, fulfill my uh, military service. So that kind of like got in the way of the whole Korea training process. And I lost the chance to actually you know, debut in Korea. Yeah, so since then, I think like a lot of, thing, a lot of things has changed. Like I actually um, ventured a bit more into acting, um, a bit into designing as well, and also singing and dancing as well. Mm. Awesome. Interesting. Well, mm. that, this has been, we officially are concluding the Lost in <laughs> Translation for Alfred, and uh, Beth Ann's going to take it away for David. You survived. Well, you guys, you did it. Proud of you. My, my life isn't as interesting as Alfred's. <laughs> Listen, you're the one that we had to like translate a couple of different languages for. Yeah, we so. had to go bilingual. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so we have your name is David Ng Hao. Yep. Um okay. it's actually Ng. Ng. Okay. Ng, yep. It's David Ng Hao. Ng Hao. Ng Hao. Yeah. I'm Ng Hao. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Okay. And then you're Chinese name is Huang Hao. Huang. Huang Hao. Yep, correct. So uh, our Chinese name is pretty similar. He also has a Hao inside it. Yep. I yeah. know. I was taking notes when. Yeah. <laughs> when that was happening. Okay, your birthday October first, two thousand one. No, that's false. <gasps> This it's... came from a really reputable source too, so I'm really excited to go fix it for them. Ooh, what 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 source do you guys find find this from? Lots of different ones, oh, like okay. every place. But yeah, it's this actually, is like the main one. I'm so it's excited. actually 30th of yes. September, September, 2002. Um, oh my gosh! Yep. Stop. <laughs> oh, God. I was. People who were not born anywhere near the 2000s, whenever we see a 2000th birthday, let's be honest. It's but lot. it's pretty close, 30th and 1st of October, so yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, me and Alfred are the same age, so like right now I'm like, oh Ooh. god, 2002. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so then we have your height as 177 centimeters, so about 5'9". And a half. Yes, that is true. Yes. Nice. Did, you, did you grow taller? I, I thought you were one seven six. I was one seven six, and then uh, I grew because ah. still at the edge of growing. He's still okay. yeah. He, okay. Okay. He, okay. You grew, or you put soles in your shoes? Oh. No, I grew. I grew. Uh, okay. I I really grew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been boy. drinking lots of you know 
uh, nutrients, a lot of vitamins, whatever, to get my height. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Amazing. Doing some stretching. Yeah. Okay, here's your bio. David, mm-hmm. David Ng Hao yep, is, yeah, a, yeah. That, is a Cambodian correct. actor and model who has appeared in Summer Days and We Are One the Series. True or false? Yes, that is true. Nice. He will also be in a Chinese web drama called Heartbeat 100 Seconds. Yes, that is also true. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go with your fun facts. Your mm-hmm. favorite animal is an otter. Yes, I love otters, guys. Okay. It, they're, they're super cute. <laughs> Here's the test. Five fun facts about otters. Go. Go. Five fun facts. Give okay, us five. so they are actually pretty fierce. The uh, alligators, uh, they are scared of otters. Secondly, they carry a stone under their arm armpit to to take it and break like clams and stuff to eat thirdly they are um they're very loyal partners so they will stick to their partner for a very long time uh fourth one uh, when they sleep they they hold each other hands and they sleep fifth one uh when uh mama orders like they have babies and they want to go and hunt for fishes right they would wrap their babies in seaweed so that they wouldn't float away. Yeah. What? Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> I'm also very impressed that like on the fly, Honestly. you were like, yes. <laughs> it really is your favorite animal. I'm mm. impressed. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Okay, the next one. You play guitar and sing. True or false? True. Nice. We won't make you perform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then last, uh, you like spicy food, true or false? Super true. I eat very spicy food, like super spicy food. <laughs> nice. Yes. Awesome. What's your, like, go-to food? My spicy go-to food, food is... Um, rice. <laughs> yes. I rice. love rice. I'm, I'm super Asian. I love <laughs> rice. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so good. Okay. Yeah, I love- so cool. we've, we've gotten to know you guys. Thanks for sharing a little bit with us. And now we're going to talk about the real important things. But again, mm-hmm. we're starting with the basics. So tell us, how did you guys get started acting? How did this happen? Hmm. David, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay, so um, my first acting job in Singapore is Summer Days, um, the, the first short film that was released uh, three years ago. So basically, it started when there was this uh, fashion content uh, uh, co- competition online, and it was like a content posted on, on Instagram. So I I was like, hmm, maybe I should try this out, you know. Um, uh, I should not be lazy, you know. I should try this out. So I went for the competition, and uh, I got to know the uh, the, I think it was, the directors and the casting people. So they uh, they were like, oh, why not? Um, you know, you should cast for this role that uh, we are doing, which is Summer Days, um, the short film. So I went for the casting and I, I somehow got the role. So that was how I started acting. Yeah. Cool. Love yep. it. Mm. Um, for me, it was, uh, I think it was a slow process. So as I shared just now, you know, so I actually started wanting to sing and perform and I feel like the industry in Singapore is a little bit smaller and um, the demand for, you know, singer performers are not that high. So acting seems like the other way to go, you know, to, to take a step into this industry. So I started going for, um, I started looking at Facebook for all these casting calls and then I started um, doing some commercial jobs and slowly picked up acting. Yeah. So it was actually like over the course of like, Four years? Five years? Mm. Awesome. So then, uh, David, you shared a little bit about getting involved in Summer Days. So, Alfred, how did you find Summer Days? Actually, this is... Um, I'm not too sure if we've shared this anywhere else. Because actually, um, so as David shared, the, the, the um, fashion brand, the owner of the fashion brand, they, they ended up being like producers of this show. 
And I also knew some of the directors because the industry, again, in Singapore is pretty small. So we were friends and they were, I think they were having some some um, issues with trying to cast people for this short film. Because I think back then in 2018, it's not um, as, as seen. So the the options that they had, you know, the people that were willing to come on board to cast were actually pretty limited. So um, my friends reached out to me and told me that, hey, you know, because I've worked with them before on other projects. And then they told me that um, there's this, this particular project that they wish that I could help out. So it wasn't exactly like an audition process for me. It was more of like, um, if you could, you know, could you be on board with um, us and do this thing together? And I thought it, it was a pro- fun project and it's something that was meaningful. So I went down for a screen test together with David. And I think a fun fact is that I was supposed to play the role that David ended up playing. So can you imagine how it would turn out? It was, it was pretty different. <laughs> so um, yeah, so during the, that, screen, that screen test was quite, um, it was quite interesting because I had to do all the, because initially we had some form of narrative. So I had mm-hmm. to do the, the, the script that David was having and then we had to act out the chemistry. But I think like, even in terms of just like, you know, um, physics and height and everything, it, we were quite, quite <laughs> different. So it was a little bit awkward for me to be playing the role that David ended up playing. So um, <laughs> immediately the directors were like, can you just try maybe, why don't you play this character instead? And then I felt that a lot of things were a lot more natural and the chemistry then slowly cut, started yeah. coming in. So we ended up settling it for that, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for both of y'all, before you got involved with, with the short film, so with Summer Days, the short film, were you like aware of the BL world? Had you heard about it? Had you seen it? Did you know this was a thing? Um, for me, I feel like I've never really heard of this genre, like BL exactly. But of course, I've seen, um, I've watched, I'm not too sure back then was Call Me By Your Name out already. But I've watched that one, so I didn't, um, I didn't have any impression of like you know, thinking that this is actually a genre on its own. Mm. So to me, it was just it was just a nice movie and, and something that had a, a very meaningful uh, message and everything. So I don't think I was aware of BL or like the BL world per se. Yeah. I for me, I I started with songs. My friends were introducing to me like Thai songs, um, because I. I happen to know Thai a little as well. Um, I, I took Thai classes um, out of passion. So they were like, hey, listen to this song. So I started listening to, to the songs and I was like, oh, so this is like a, a thing now. And then after that, I started watching uh, Call Me By Your Name. And uh, yeah, and slowly Alfred started acting in uh, uh, the, the BL um, uh, yeah. show in Taiwan. Yep. So I was like, ah, okay. And I was introduced to this genre as well. Yeah. So have you have you seen history make our days count? I, I've seen his parts. I, I watched <laughs> his parts. And uh, I know I, I know the ending, the storyline and everything because when yeah. he was filming, we were texting, like he was really bored and I was like, uh, hey, how how are you doing over there and stuff like that. So I was pretty well informed of uh the story that <laughs> yeah yeah listen you don't need that like emotional pain D- like don't yeah. bring that on yourself truly <laughs> trauma it's so true <laughs> yeah Ayla and I have talked about this before about how like in the west we kind of don't really have a, a BL kind of genre like call me by your name and broke back mountain like those were big here and we've had tv shows here and there but for the most part like we wouldn't consider those bl specifically like not until we got into this like last year i guess for me and then for both of us like did we really know what bl was and like kind of the origins of it from japan and that like kind of whole history of it so yeah yeah uh okay so the short film actually came out in 2018 and now you guys get to make it in a into a series uh what like is the most exciting thing about making it now into a series that you are excited to do? Mm, I think uh, back then, three years ago, when we started acting, uh, we were not that close. And uh, I feel so, so after awkward. three years, yeah, like I think <laughs> we're, we're so much closer than before. And I think we can produce a better result as well. And the, the thing, the exciting thing is that um, the whole storyline is 
like, whoo, it's like changed right now. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that to show, you know, the audience of how each character has developed um, in this new series. So yeah, that, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I think for me it was um, pretty similar to what David shared, but just to um, go into a, a bit of details. So when we were in Jeju, actually, um, so apart from that screen test that we had for like an hour or so, the, the, mm-hmm. the next time we met was actually um, when we were on our way to Jeju already. At the airport. Oh, yes. So it was pretty yes. awkward, actually. And to be honest, I think we, we, I landed, we were landed on the wrong foot. So <clears throat> when we first um, met at the airport, like it was pretty awkward and the tension was quite, yeah. Was so quite kind tense, of through actually. to the trailer. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah, the trailer, really, sorry, the trailer is like similar really to fun, what happened. Yeah. Like the so, sleep together, eat together. Eat so together, we really need to yeah. bond we had through. To. The like there thing. was this part where um, we were at the airport, right? So the director says, because I'm friends with the producer and the director. So they told me that, hey, you know, being the elder one, you, you should be um, taking more initiative, talk to David a little. And <laughs> because I, I'm close to them, right? So when we get into the plane, I, I think like just quickly, I want to sit with my friends. And then they were like, no, you're going to sit with David. I said, why? Then he was, they, were, they were telling me that um, by the time we reached Jeju, it was like, I think a six hour flight. So they said, we need to, we, we will be giving you, you know, um, some questions to make sure that you know each other a little better. So it was kind of like forced. And then we, we were just like, okay, awkward, two awkward people. And then we sat beside <laughs> each other. And then the whole flight, we, just, we were just talking just because we had to ice break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then when we got to the house, um, the, uh, I just went to an empty room. And then the, the director was like, no, you're, you're sharing rooms. I said, like, what? <laughs> and then I just, I just, are we seriously doing this? Like, is it like a yeah. mad thing or what? And then they were telling us that um, it's just that everything on the screen is is gonna be very amplified and and you know they want us to be more in character and also I think the the, the tension between us like how awkward it was was pretty obvious to everyone. <laughs> so they just really wanted us to bond and you know just get to know each other better. So mm-hmm. I think the interesting thing about summer days is that half of the plot and uh, the intent of where this whole thing is coming up from, it was actually like quite true to what we went through in Jeju at that point. Amazing. Yeah, so yeah, so actually now that we're expanding this into the series and having a chance to, you know, share a bit more about what really happened back then, is something that I think is um interesting and also fun. And it brings back a lot of memories for us as well. But the trade-off is that, you know, how close, uh, given that how close we are now, like on set, it can be quite awkward in another way because like, it's just like we are always laughing and we are just always. It's a bit harder to be serious, yeah. and for, for <laughs> things that we, you know are more emotionally requiring for all of us is a little bit hard to get into character sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So so that, that's that's a fun fact. Yeah, that is. So, I, I just honestly imagine you guys playing like corporate ice breaking games on the plane. <laughs> oh, like yeah. this is what yeah. I'm picturing now, and you'll never convince me otherwise. <laughs> like when we were on the plane, we were like making small awkward conversations about like hey, What's your what favorite show movie? do you watch? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah. is your favorite actor? I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that um I remember like the first one of the or the first night I think because I, I introduced David this one of my favorite show uh Marvel Agents of Shield. Oh yes. So so that very night I think it was awkward. So he was already in the room and I I just found it a little bit awkward to just go into the room you know on the same bed. But when I went in, he was watching the show. So it was actually like a nice icebreaker. So I just went beside. I was like, oh, you're watching that already. And I said, yeah. So we mm-hmm. ended up watching, I think, like two episodes that night on the first mm-hmm. night. So I felt like that really did help. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it really bonded us like really quick over like uh, the period of like less than a week. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing better than bonding over like entertainment and media because, yeah. yeah. you know. That's what we've done with this <laughs> all the time. <laughs> we do it all the time. <laughs> it's so true. So, okay, let's talk about the series. So Summer Days the Series is currently crowdfunding. And there has kind of been this, like, sort of boom in the BL community. Because, again, we kind of joked about this at the beginning. That, like, we're always joking about crowdfunding things. Like, truly, the other day, we were, like, screaming about crowdfunding for, like, an Academy Award nomination for some (laughs) random actor. 
And but that being said, it is kind of a joke in like the BL fandom to like we're gonna crowdfund a season two because like we can't believe we didn't get a season two of this show or that show. And so I mean, there have been other crowdfunded shows in the past, but people are pretty excited about summer days. Like people are talking about it, people are posting about it. Um, and so what has it been like for you guys? Again, this short film came out in 2018 and now there's almost this like renaissance and this like boom. So what has it been like to see sort of new fans discovering the story, discovering the characters, discovering you guys for the first time because of this crowdfunding process? Can you go first? <laughs> yeah, sure. Actually, honestly, I feel like there were to be very honest, before we decided to um, do a, uh, even a crowdfund or, or um, planning for this series to happen, there were quite a lot of like um, reservations on our end and as well as like, you know, the directors and everything, everyone on board. I think mainly because it's been like, like you said, like three years since then. And um, especially within Singapore, I feel like this is, BL itself is, is quite a hard um, topic to actually get involved with. So we had to be very careful with it. And also because of our schedules, you know, how David and I, we have been um, pretty busy with our own um, careers as well. So the, the directors actually had this plan to, to uh, expand this story for about a year now. And then, but they didn't tell us. So they actually wrote the entire story and they wanted to expand it. They wanted to run through us, the, run the idea through us and everything. Um, it wasn't until, I think, um, early this year. So me and, I just came back from China. So, uh, and then we had like a gathering and then they were just, you know, telling us, casually telling us about this thing that they want to try to do this. And David and I was just like, oh, we're down. Like, why not? Let's just do it. Mm -hmm. So it, it was kind of casual. And then when, and then the directors were like so excited. So the next day immediately came, they went back to polish on the screen and then came back to us and proposed all these things to us. So everything else from there um, took, took up quite well. But of course, one of the concerns that we had was like, how are we going to fund this thing? You know, because obviously, like we we want to produce something of a of, of a pretty stand, like good quality, in order to you know to live up to the short term standard. Um, mm -hmm. so crowdfunding was something that we were considering at that point of time. I think it, to me the, the the idea of crowdfunding was quite foreign, because I've just never ever thought of like you know possibly asking you know people to crowdfund for a project. So when we first discussed it, it was a lot of like, oh, what is, and is it going to work out? But, you know, in the end, we just decided, the whole team just decided to, why not we let's just do a trailer and then let's just put this out and see if like, it's still relevant, if people would be interested to look at this. So, yeah, so I'm glad that we did that, actually. Mm. Mm, yeah. Like like Alfred said, um, this series is filmed and is made in Singapore, which was one of our concerns because um, not many people in Singapore watches BL anyway, I feel. And uh, and we were, like like Alfred said, the idea of crowdfunding was foreign to uh, all of us. So we were like, oh, how are we going to get people to actually watch this and crowdfund this uh, so that we can make it into a fuller series? And another thing for me is that the, the short film was um, quite well received, but with this new trailer out, will people actually understand the storyline that is going on since it it's like a complete uh, different yeah, twist? The premise is the whole different. story. Line. Yeah, so we were like, oh, how how are we gonna do this? But um, you know, the trailer came out and it many people supported it, and uh, it was the first time like getting all these like feelings and emotions of people really supporting what you do. And that was really special to me. So yeah, I, I'm pretty excited and, you know, happy about everything right now that's going on. Yeah. 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 I think um, just to add on a little, I feel like when we, we, we decided to do this, right, obviously as in like the team went through a lot and a lot of planning and everything. Um, mm. But I, one thing that I was very appreciative was that, you know, everyone on board was very fearless. Like they were just not, I mean, we are not too, too bothered by the outcome, you know, whether of the success success of the campaign or not. Rather, we just really wanted to, you know, show this side of the story that that we have always wanted to expand a little. So, so yeah, so I'm just glad that you know the team was able to just pull through all of that and then still make it make a trailer happen, and then to be well received. Then I think that is like a bonus for for everyone on board. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah awesome. I think it's super interesting that you bring up sort of like quality and yeah, the vibe is different. If you watch if you watch the short film um, and then you watch the trailer, the vibe is is way different. But the quality, I mean, truly the quality of this trailer is so good. I like I remember the first time I watched it, Beth Ann, she was trying to get me. She was like, summer days, it's doing this thing like you have to watch it like it's cool. Like, this is a super cool premise. Like, this is a cool thing that's happening. Like, just watch it. And I just, like, didn't for a while. Like, I'll be honest with you. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I finally, like, we were actually on the phone when I finally just, like, clicked and watched it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to click this. I think it was on, like, my YouTube homepage. Because I was like, Ela, I, I paid for this thing, like, in our name, just so you know this is happening. And she was like, okay, Thank whatever. <laughs> and then, yeah, she finally Yeah, heard. and then, yeah, we were on the phone, like, working on something, and I clicked, and I was like, oh, yeah, I need to watch this. And I was truly blown away. Like, I was, like, screaming just the whole time. I was like, wait, it's so good. I was like, the quality the quality because like that actually is almost really unique when it comes to BL trailers I will say is like having something that high quality like you don't really get that that often yeah I think that was one of the things that the, the, the producers and the directors um was very very uh, aware of as well so that was something that they were actively trying to 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 um keep in mind you know, the quality that is yeah. important so even the shoot yeah. um initially I thought you know I thought it was just going to be a simple trailer, but they took pride, really, really took pride in it and planning everything. So we actually really go into casting for the, the, the roles that they wanted to portray and then all the location scout, everything, the, the filming crew, the production crew, everyone was, it was pretty huge production actually. So I, I, I think um, credit is to the team for that because they really wanted, you know, despite the budget and everything was pretty tight, the timeline, they, they really wanted to maintain this, the standard of production. Yeah, so I'm glad that that people um do realize that and, and it's something that they appreciate. So that, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, and you've talked a little bit about how the short film is pretty different than the trailer for the series. What was it like for you guys to go from the from the short film, which is just the two of you, to then like adding a whole cast? Was that like a fun process of like bringing people into this story that like you wanted to expand and tell? Yeah, I think uh, it's definitely more fun to be introduced to more characters and new characters. Uh, as you can see now, I have a love rival. <laughs> so it's 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 pretty fun uh, to meet the different people. And when I was filming back in Jeju with uh, Alfred, it was just literally the two of us. So um, <clears throat> it was um, it was fun. But I think uh, as more people join, I think the whole storyline is more complete. So yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, and also I think like um, for me because uh, I feel like one of the reasons that I've I worked on a few productions actually. One of the reasons I really enjoy working with Summer Days, you know, the entire team, apart from my my friends that are producing this thing, is really like the the chemistry between the cast. So it's like even the the new people that we cast like Summer, the the, the guy that plays Summer, his name is Ayman, and also Lucas's character, which is played by John. Like we, our casting process is a little different. It wasn't exactly like, a, oh, we come in and read off script. It's more like a get together and chill. And then, okay, like over dinner, you know? So after dinner, mm -hmm. we just say, okay, are you cool? You ready? Like, let's, let's try out this scene. So I feel like the premise of like the, the whole cast and everything, the dynamic of it is just very exciting for me. So mm -hmm. it doesn't, it almost feels like we are just, you know, um, reliving our life in, in, in Jeju. Because obviously, even though it was a short film, just uh, me and David, we had our friends there with us. We had our, our makeup artists, the directors. So the whole process was fun. So to be able to, you know, bring that on screen, I think that is um, something that is pretty important for me as well. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so a fun little question. The name of the show is called Summer Days. Do you guys have anything that you like to do during your summer days? Summer days. Yeah, what do you do during the mm -hmm. summer? What like, you what's, your, what's your summer activity? Honestly, uh, do we I have don't summer? Know. Yeah, because like in Singapore, have... it's just oh, I didn't even think about the season thing. Yeah, so in Singapore, it's <laughs> like in always... Singapore, there's only one season. No, which yeah, like I mean, it's like warm, 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 and then rainy, 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 warm, warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's it's it. basically like summer throughout the year. So I, I like mean, welcome to my life. That's what it's like where I live in the states too. So <laughs> really? yeah, yeah. 
Oh, Except but, for that you, crazy you, winter storm they got last year. Yeah. Oh, so um, you, mean, you mean you don't usually get winter? Mm-mm. Oh, really? No. Oh. It was like 96 degrees here a couple days ago, which is like what we figured this out. It was like 33 degrees Celsius, something oh, like that. Oh, uh, 33 yeah, degrees yeah, Celsius. Yeah. Oh, which is pretty much similar to Singapore, isn't yeah, it? it yeah. We're like 29, 30. We're, yeah, we're yeah. All, always there. So, yeah. It's always but, raining. I live oh, on a bayou, which is like kind of like a swamp. It's like tropical. It's a whole thing. Okay. Which which part of which part are you from? I live in Texas. I live on the Gulf Coast. Oh, Texas. I didn't know Texas. Oh, cool. <laughs> I have like Texas chicken here. Interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Texas Wait. Chicken. <laughs> what is Texas chain? chicken? What is like what is Texas chicken? It's something like, like KFC. Yeah. yeah, it's like a fast food oh. chain. Yeah. It's called like Texas it. Chicken. Yeah. Oh, like the name of the restaurant is Texas. Yeah, yeah. it's called yeah. Texas Chicken. <laughs> see, when I go to Singapore, now I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna see, and I will judge truly. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> and I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, okay. Super fun. So you guys have talked about a lot about this show and what you've done in the past. Is there anything specific that either one of you would like to do next as you look for your next project? I know you're still in the midst of this project, but is there anything that like you kind of are looking forward to pursuing next? Mm, uh, so Alfred said before that his Chinese is bad, but now I am, my Chinese is way, way worse than <laughs> uh, than his. So right now I'm practicing and studying Chinese for my Chinese um, drama, which is Heartbeat 100 Seconds. So uh, yeah, for right now, I'm just practicing, studying Chinese every day, trying to speak more Chinese so that I can uh, speak more fluently in my new Chinese drama. But besides that, uh, I, I feel that um, I just want to dive into the acting scene um, more. I want to play more roles and more characters that uh, um, are not what I play usually. You know, usually I just play like a um, like a high school boy or like a love interest. You know, I, I would definitely want to play more like a um, sociopath. <laughs> yeah, uh, like very hard characters. So yeah, that that is what I am planning to do in the future. Mm. Very cool. Um, as for me is um apart from summer days, I want to focus a bit more on my uh, musical career as well. So I'm actually in the midst of preparing for my first music single that is expected to release, I think, early January 2022. So that is something that I've been working on for the past half year. And I think it's, it's coming together. So that's something that I'll be very excited to share with um, everyone in early 2022. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I've heard his music. It, it's really good. Like I, thank you. Yeah, can't wait for everyone else to hear it. Uh, maybe you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to add an OST to Summer Days. Yeah, please. I, that, that, I, we, that's I really what we were planning to. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Okay. So last but not least, where can fans follow you, and how can they support the show? Um, okay, let's talk about the crowdfunding first. So you guys can head uh, head to uh, Summer Days the Series Instagram account. There's the link on the bio where you guys can click. And basically, uh, the link will lead you to this page that tells you everything about um, what we're doing, like the synopsis, what characters we're playing, uh, what roles, um, and yeah, basically the whole storyline. And it also show you the uh, crowdfunding page, which shows you know if you guys um, contribute this much, what uh, what you guys can get. Uh, yeah, so you guys can head on to Summer Days uh, on Instagram to check out the link, and you guys can also follow me on Instagram as well at Mr. David. Yeah, or you guys, uh, you guys can just check my name at. David Ung Hao. Yeah. Awesome. And we'll put it in the description of this episode. <laughs> the yeah. actual at. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Alfred, where can people find you? 
Or we're just not allowed to follow you. We're not allowed. Nobody's allowed to follow Alfred. No one go follow him. No one look him up. I was like, wait, when when is Alfred going to come in? No one's allowed. Sorry. Alfred's Alfred's out. Peace. Yeah, no, because I I thought we were just um, talking about summer days. Okay, my private, uh, not private account, my personal account is at (laughs) at Silfred. So S E Alfred. Yeah, I think oh, it's just, it, it would be convenient for um, the listeners to just actually head to some of these um, Instagram. And then yeah. there you can check out all our profiles. I feel it would be a lot yeah. more easy for everyone. Fun, fun fact about his Instagram account is called Silfred. Ah. Right? Guess why is it Silfred? No, I know this because you're like super into seals. Yes. Oh, wow. They're your favorite seals. animal. Wow. Yeah, yeah. correct. The, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. Silfred. Yeah. You guys, we told you, we researched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I So I got assigned Alfred. You like you were my person to, to research. And <laughs> I fell down this like YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah. Very excited about this new music oh. single because I have literally watched every video. Oh, it was like you. a whole thing. So yeah, no, I know the answer to that. Yeah. Oh, Ayla, cool. Ayla is starting your whatever fan club. If you don't yeah, yeah. have an official <laughs> fan club, she is starting it. Uh, Going to turn into a fan site when you go full idol. Wow. Yes. It's one of my dreams. Yes. I'm going to become a fan site. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys again for joining us. It's been awesome to chat and get to know you better. We hope the fans have gotten to know you better. And you you know looking forward to you guys making this series and seeing what comes next so yeah and again another special plea just from us to everybody listening let's talk bl has gone ahead and donated at the indiegogo and who knows like we'll probably do it again because we had a lot of fun today and so y'all we joke all the time in the comments about crowdfunding things we have a real opportunity to really crowdfund a thing yeah. Just go do it. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, like, um, I, I just want to say that, you know, um, with all the support and all the love that we have been receiving, like, we're super grateful for everybody, you know, who has pressed the like, share button. And, you know, um, we're not saying that you guys have to donate, you know, or to contribute. Like, all we ask is for you guys to spread words about it so that um, hopefully there will be people out there who, you know, can um, make this thing a real thing. So, yeah, we're, we're really thankful for each and every one of you. <laughs> yeah, and I think that just, you know, even um, people reacting to it, like, we, we actually watch, like, every time we get a reaction video, we would just send it in the group chat and we're like, oh, let's watch this together. Mm. So oh, I think even that, or, like, the comments that we see, yeah. you know, um, they are, I think all these um, form of support are very important to us because they, they remind yeah. us of, you know, like, just, just to continue pushing through and everything. So, so we are also very, very thankful for all of these things. So yeah. apart from all the, it, you know, the, the contribution to the crowd fund, I think all, all these things are something that is, um, has been very, very, uh, we are thankful, something that we are thankful for and that we put, mm. pull it very close to our heart. Yeah. Yeah. And it's super cool to finally see people reacting to your <laughs> video. It's like my yeah. first time watching someone reacting to my video. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure you'll have many more to come. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, awesome. Well, thanks again. And this has been Let's Talk BL. We'll see you next time.